Uh, well, we've stopped about 100 and, um, uh, say 190 odd k's from um, Carnarvon. Lovely little drive, although it seemed to be uphill all the way. My fuel economy is absolutely shot today and a headwind as well. So uh, pulled up at a, right on the corner of the, um, the entry into the Shark Bay World Heritage, whatever it is, that road down this way. And the Outlander, or Overlander I think it's called, the Overlander um, uh, Billabong or um, Roadhouse just behind me over there. And we are surrounded by, uh, we're going to be inundated because it is wildfire, wildflower season. And dudes running around going, oh, look at the pretty flower, look at the pretty flower. I'd say by the time uh, two or three weeks go by, she's going to be sick of oh, another flower. But it's really pretty here, lovely little uh, roadside stop. It's on Wiki Camps. It's um, yeah, just Shark Bay Road. Um, it's big, it's expansive. I'd be a little bit worried in the wet. Um, looks a little slippery in places. Uh, they had some rain about two or three weeks ago, so uh, there's still a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, water laying around. And of course, with this thing here, don't like it. So uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be doing um, a quick trip. Um, we don't want to get, as I said, into too much of the touristy sort of stuff of Shark Bay, um, like the monkey mares and all that sort of stuff. But one thing that Jude does like flowers, she likes shells as well and stones. So we're going to go uh, a quick jaunt into um, Shelly Beach, Shell Beach. It's about 83 odd k's plus or something from here. Go in and do that, we'll come back, we're too pushed, we'll stay here again, we'll travel a little bit further down the road. So this will do us for tonight. It's sure good. Take it easy. Rest and relax. Sun going down here at the corner of Shark Bay um, and the Roadhouse at uh, Overland, I think it is. And we got some chops on the old Barbie. Or on the griller anyway. Certainly smelling and looking good. Up right and early this morning as you can see. Sun glaring me in the eye from the horizon, but it's a beautiful uh, sunrise um, on our way this morning to Shell Bay. So we've got a bit of a mission ahead of us to get there and back and then park somewhere nice. Um, wasn't too many campers here tonight, I think about six last night, sorry. Just a little bit of noise from the roadhouse, um, didn't bother me, Jude sort of was a little bit restless. So uh, yeah, not a bad spot here at the corner of Shark Bay. That's the other thing too, is at a corner, so you've got trucks coming down this way or vehicles going that way. I'm in a bit of a V, but other than that, nice spot. So uh, yep, let's go and see Shell Bay. We've got a sensor there that sends off a, a dog barking. <laughs> Dogs wouldn't be here while cars are coming by because they're too scared of all the traffic. But during the night, when they're on their little scavenging pieces, they would come along here and think that they could get through and then they're spooked by the barking dog sound. Oh, all well, the road into Shell Beach from um, the main highway turn off. Excellent, excellent road and looks like it continues nicely through into Denham. Parks here for motorhomes, big wagons. And the park here itself is fabulous, look at that. Toilets, welcomes. Alrighty. Pretty self-explanatory, obviously we've come from this way here. We didn't do the, uh, I do not want to say that word, but the Hamlin Pool area um, because of uh, a bit of damage from the cyclone. But uh, you can come on up at the uh, pest fence and the shell beach.
Okay, well that was Shell Beach. It was good. We're in here because it was pretty windy out there and uh, yeah, a bit hard to film and things, but very interesting, eh? Very nice. Love the small shells. They're great. Small shells everywhere. And then we had a walk down to the, 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 the predator fence. Had to talk to the bloke there that was doing uh, the turning the predator fence into a floating fence um, down by the water level. So it was quite interesting having a yak to him. So um, yeah, Shell Beach, tick. It was really well done. So Dean, where are we heading today? Oh, we're just basically going to go back to where we were. So we're leaving all that bit there till next time, and um, travel probably another 70 to 100 k's maybe, and then find a nice place to rest up. Cool. Look forward to a great sleep. Yeah. Here's a neat use of solar and wind generation. Doing the street lights here on the corner. There we go. We're leaving the busy spot. Shark Bay World Heritage Area. Judging by all the caravans and motorhomes. Sure is a top spot. At last, made it to our next destination. That was a big drive. Yeah, there was the 85 kilometers odd into Shell Beach and then come back out again. And I think I must have managed about 80 odd Ks. Down to this spot, which is near and near and a little busy. There's a few wagons pulling in now. We've snagged a good spot down the uh, end of Nera Nera in here, our uh, rest area along the fence line. Yeah, there's some bathrooms there, there's that van just pulled up down there by the trees, it's very deep back there. Really interesting to see that that uh, toilet block has a defibrillator. Excuse me if I said that wrong, but it's nice to see the looking after the campers or any emergencies on the roadside and things, know where you can grab one, pretty good. So there's a bit of sealed area there where there's a few people. We've uh, snuck in here which is, seems to be quite nice and roomy. Solar out, a little bit of shade out and uh, all over there by the solar panel. Gone and set up the uh, stove, that little pop-up fire kit. So um, we're going to try a um, camp oven um, goat shanks. So Jude's just uh, brazing things nicely in the uh, the motorhome there, popping them into a, uh, a camp oven and then uh, I've got to get that fire going now so we can um, probably enjoy it in an hour or so time. Wish me luck. Hey alrighty ho boys and girls, ladies and gents. Um, yeah, Chef Dino has been uh, using this pop-up pit to uh, try and cook some goat shanks. They're the ones nearest to me. Boom. And Jude has also done a, uh, she's doing a cake as well. She says it's keto. I think she's trying to so send a message that maybe I'm putting too much weight on this trip. Anyway, so what I've done is uh, got some hot coals in the um, pop-up pit there, the fireside outdoor pop-up pit. It's been doing okay. Um, grabbing those coals, sticking them down on the ground and then putting the camp oven on top. Now one little point is that the cake one there, it doesn't have the little turned up edges so yeah I might hopefully haven't made them too crunchy but what I'll do is I'll blow that out a little bit before I lift the lid out and hopefully it's uh, yeah it doesn't get too many ashes in there. But this one here, obviously cake you need ashes on the top to make it um, cook evenly and that's what I've done with the um, the goat shanks here as well. Man, it smells great. It's just oozing out from the, the smells, just wafting out. It's beautiful. So I've got a little short shovel there. I'm note to self. Need a slightly longer shovel. However, I do have these nice big gloves there, which make the shovel a bit longer. <laughs> but my face is getting a little sunburn. But uh, yeah, she's been on for uh, an hour so far, so uh, I needed to actually slow it down a little bit because veggies were cooking and the, uh, the, the goat shanks weren't, so uh, hopefully steady as she goes. Alrighty, it's been a, what, a couple of hours? And there we have it. Sizzling away there, beautiful goat shank. What else we got in there, Jude? Tomatoes? Yeah, tomatoes, potatoes, eggplant. Eggplant, there we go. Looking nice. beautiful, smelling beautiful.
good morning. Nearing, nearing. It was good. Great night sky, good fire, uh, fairly quiet. And um, yeah, today it's going to be a quick jaunt down the road to um, another place. I think it was uh, Gallion, I think it was Gallion Bridge or something, rest stop. We're going to go down there. It's only about 80 k's down the road. Park up there, that gives us a, a quick approach into um, carriaging the following day. So yeah, lovely spot. We're going to go and uh, yeah, just empty the usual things out before we go. Rest area's got a dump point here. Catch you down the road. Won't be long. Well, that was a lovely little drive from near and near and uh, rest uh, area down here to I think it's Galena Bridge. Excuse my pronunciation of things. Um, dude will pop it down below. Hopefully, some of these uh, wiki camp stops got here and I thought oh geez there's not going to be any room there's people over, all over the place but it's a 24 hour stop those people are all leaving and then all of a sudden it was like a, a ghost area <laughs> there's only a couple of cars and things around at the moment beautiful bird life about um, I'm not a, 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 a bird follower but um, it's pretty you can hear them in the distance and we've I've seen the Murchison River, I think it is. This is the Murchison, which we'll see over in the Kalbarri National Park that'll be carving its way through Australia. So uh, yeah, good little spot. We've got some toilets over in the distance, rubbish bins here, got nice little barbecue areas and things. There's a really big rest area that's got a lot of tar seal on the other side. But man, there's every man and his dog over there. So hopefully this will be a little, little bit of a quieter spot. I'll swing you around go past the old sunshine there beautiful bird song uh, and some swans I'll go down the river now and uh, we'll have a look at the river got some black swans beautiful um, clear looking water here uh, the Murchison River got a wee bit of flow to it there I don't know whether you can see there's a, there's a wee bit of uh, weed just moving in the water there at a fairly brisk pace um, and then on the other side of the river you can see those other wagons. This is a great spot to park up for an early assault on the uh, Kalbarri National Park, I guess. That's one reason I'm here. We're here. That's why I've done a short trip down here. Um, so that we could uh, get a good rest up, relax, and then tomorrow go and do some, uh, do some miles. We have plenty of spawns. One thing I noticed too on our way down from Nera Nera, um, all of a sudden the countryside's starting to change a little bit there. It's gone from to like the rugged kind of farmland or bushland that you think nothing grows or nothing will graze on it in bits and pieces. And then all of a sudden the, the pastures started opening up. So we ended up with, um, I think I've seen my first lot of uh, wheat or barley or something like that starting to come around. A few more flies. So um, yeah, and the road was just perfect. Lovely, lovely seal, um, nice comfy conditions for the van and uh, yeah, all good. Let's hope it continues. Oh, and I should point out too, the wildflowers of course, looking great. Some pinks and some yellows and some purples and yeah, we'll, we'll see plenty of them. I think we're, we're hitting the season quite, quite good for timing. Up right and early this morning as you can see, all excited, we're heading to Calberry. Feast. Today is dawn or dawning. It's very nice, nice sunrise here. Um, clear, clear skies. A little bit of a breeze, but I'm sure it'll pick up as forecasted. So uh, we're just throwing a few things together early here in the van, and uh, we'll make our way through to Kalbarri. We'll catch you there. <laughs> 